I've been shooting with the X-T5 for about three months now, and I wanted to give you an update on how it's been working out. If you're new to my channel, you should know that I generally use Fuji as my backup system and a Canon EOS R5 as my main studio camera for my headshots and portraits. But that's changed since I got the X-T5, and today I want to tell you why. The X-T5 is a giant leap forward from the X-T4 in many ways, and I'm not just talking about megapixels. Although I do appreciate the added detail and the new sensor has been great for the work that I do, the major upgrade is in the camera's overall performance. The camera has performed so well, in fact, that I've started using the X-T5 as my main studio camera, and I've left the R5 at the studio or in my camera bag when I'm on location as my backup option. So let's talk about why. First, the autofocus in the X-T5 is reliable, fast, and the eye tracking works great. This couldn't be said of the four, at least in my personal experience, and because AF accuracy, I didn't use the four in my studio, especially after getting used to the R5, which rarely misses. And since I like to take a burst of headshots in order to capture the perfect expression, having even just one or two out of focus in a group of say 10 shots can mean that I potentially lost the best one. And there's nothing worse than zooming into a photo and realizing that the focus is off, especially if you and your client love that particular image. But with the five, I don't have to worry about this anymore, especially after I tweak the AF settings. And if you're interested in that, I've linked the video below about my tweaked settings. It's just reliable now, and in my last location shoot, I didn't even think about whether or not the images were going to be in focus like I often did with the X-T4. So autofocus, which dogged Fuji for so long, has been vastly improved for the kind of work that I do, and it does the job extremely well. But performance isn't just about autofocus. Overall, the X-T5 is considerably faster than the 4 in terms of saving data, reviewing photos, accessing menus, and changing settings. There's no considerable lag when I press the menu button, for instance, and even when taking a large burst of photos, the camera doesn't lock up on you. And I shoot all of my work in uncompressed RAW, so I'm pushing the camera to its limit, and it's really been no problem at all. For me, Performance is really just as important as AF speed because even if the camera focus is super fast, but it's a drag to navigate the menus, change settings, or save data, you're still losing potentially great shots. And the menu itself is much improved too, which also adds to how quickly you're able to access and change settings on the fly. Once I got my custom buttons set up the way I like them, I find that I can use the X-T5 basically almost the same way as I would use the R5. Now, I'm not saying that the X-T5 is better than the R5, and I'm not rushing to sell my R5 at this point, but I just find that lately I prefer using the X-T5, and I've chosen it as my primary camera over and over again since I've gotten it. At my last shoot, which was on location at a large commercial realty firm, I used the X-T5 for all of the headshots and portraits I was to take, and then I grabbed the R5 out of my bag as my backup camera to take some images of the space as well as artwork on the walls that they had displayed. And honestly, there didn't feel like much of a performance difference between the two cameras. Now, when I would shoot with the X-T4 in the past and then grab the R5, it was always a night and day difference in the performance from one to the other. But I don't feel that way using the X-T5. Battery life is also a massive improvement over the four. I would barely be able to get through a two hour photo shoot on one battery when shooting with the four, but with the five, I can go an entire portrait shoot and it barely puts a dent in the battery, which is awesome. And this is something that might not seem like such a big deal, but when you're in the middle of a shoot and you have to change a battery, it can really break the flow and cause you to miss out on the perfect shot you might've got. Another small but very important improvement in the performance of the X-T5 is that it tethers right away to capture one and there's no issues with having to restart the program or take out cards or anything like that. And the R5 for some reason is very hit or miss when tethering. Sometimes I need to restart capture one, sometimes I need to remove the memory card, and this can be super frustrating. 
And this is one of the reasons why I just put the camera away one day at my studio and grabbed the X-T5 instead of the R5. The R5 wasn't tethering and I didn't want to deal with it since my client was due in a few minutes. And I've really genuinely enjoyed using the X-T5 primarily since then. Outside of all the practical reasons why the 5 has worked for me so well, we can't ever completely separate the emotional connection to a camera brand. I think if we're honest, all of us have chosen our cameras based at least in part on how they make us feel emotionally. Unless you shoot with a Sony. I'm just kidding. Anyway, for me, I find there is a much stronger emotional bond to my Fuji gear to, than to my Canon gear. And I think a lot of it has to do with the community itself. Fuji users are super passionate about our gear and the community is small and tight knit. We can be a little bit crazy at times, of course, which is why I sometimes joke about us as Fuji Flakes, but we are heavily invested in our brand and we take a lot of pride in it. Not only this, but there is really something magical about Fuji cameras. The color, the depth, the film-like quality, and the user experience is really hard to match with other brands, and this can make a difference on some level in how your creativity is realized in the final image. And now with a camera that I feel is reliable and doesn't get in my way on a practical level, I found that it's easier than ever to be creative without sacrificing performance and ease of use with the X-T5.